Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. This is my Friday Reads uh, video. If you're new to my channel, um, I'm so glad you're here. But yeah, Friday Reads is just kind of where, it's just a chatty video where I talk about what I've been reading this last week and what I plan to read in the week ahead. Um, I am drinking some cranberry pomegranate tea because for Easter, my mother-in-law got me this amazing bag of tea um, and it's by Gardenica. This is not sponsored or anything like that, but I have really, really loved some of them. But there was like a turmeric tea that was just phenomenal. So, so that's what I'm enjoying tonight. Um, I'm trying not to spill it anywhere, so. Uh, first of all, before we get into books, though, we do have to talk about everyone. Just listen, listen to me. If you are not well, or if you are taking care of someone who is not well, you must take care of yourself. Now, I tried making a different version of this video and it went down like the, a, a very dark path. I don't want to do that, but I do want you all to know, like I really, I, I personally need you to make sure that you are doing some self care, um, that you are not feeling pressure. Like there is no pressure to make booktube videos or to leave comments like, as I always say, like you could, you can leave an emoji on tons of, tons of different videos on booktube. Um, don't feel bad about binge watching TV or something like that. Like your mind needs a rest. Your mind needs a break from some things like just please, please don't be too hard on yourself. Extend yourself grace because you are not well or you love someone who maybe isn't well. So please, yeah. I I sent someone a Voxer message this week and afterward I was like, ooh, I, that was like, that was like a, a harsh voice. Like I felt, I felt like I had scolded this person into like taking care of themselves. But I really, I do worry when I hear people talking on a Voxer message and it sounds like how I sound before I have a seizure. <laughs> I go into like code red, <laughs> time to rest time to, you know, don't ignore the appointments that you need to make. Oh man, it's just really, it's just so rough out there. I'm just, I'm so worried about so many people and it's, um, but I, I am sending out love and prayers and positive energy and good thoughts. And I just hope that, um, things, I don't know. I, my philosophy about it is like, just take things one day at a time. You don't know what tomorrow will be like. I'm gonna start off with what I have like barely begun reading <laughs> and the book I finished this week. So I am participating in People April, um, hosted by Roz at Skelly Down the Lane about the books and Elizabeth at Bokenzen Books. And so for that, my first read for People April is H is for Hawk by Helen McDonald. So I have just barely, barely scratched the surface of this book. Um, but I'm excited. I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to, to reading that. Oh, and I wanted to point out, look, look at those deckled edges. Team deckled edges. We are strong. <laughs> um, and then the other thing I started is a body read um, of a Victorian book. <laughs> so, so we spent the first three months with Trollope. April we are going to spend with Elizabeth Gaskell and her novel Mary Barton. Um, and next month, 
there'll be a little Dickens mixed in, <laughs> which, which some of you wisely pointed out that is an author I champion on my channel. So <laughs> thank you for, for, uh, mentioning that. But anyway, I, it's been quite a while. I have a very complicated relationship with Elizabeth Gaskell because of wives and daughters. <laughs> um, but I have really enjoyed a couple of other books and uh, one of my trusted buddy readers told me that she thought I would really enjoy Mary Barton. And so I am going to be reading this um, with um, someone I have never done a buddy read with before, but I am super, super excited. So hopefully, hopefully that will, I, I ho I'm hoping to invest a lot more time in that because um, I feel, I'm already feeling behind, but there's no pressure. There is no deadline. That is the thing to remember. Now, I tell you what, booktube, I, I have read so many things since becoming part of this community that I would have never in a million years read on my own found on my own, picked up, like nothing, nothing. So my friend, Sophie in Germany, Sophie, I hope you're watching. I love you and I miss talking to you anyway. <laughs> but um, my friend Sophie sent me The Chinese Maze Murders by Robert Van Gulick. Okay. So some of you may know way more about this series and this author than I do, and I hope that you will share your knowledge um, in the comments section, because like I said, someone gave this book to me. Um, and sometimes, I don't know about other booktubers, like I get a little bit nervous when someone gives me a book and then I talk about it on my channel, especially like if I, if I don't like it. Um, so I was a little bit afraid because this is just like, was just not what I was, was expecting. Um, but I read it you guys, and I have never read a mystery like this one. I mean, not even, like, it's just not even close. Okay. For those of you who love cozy, mysteries. These are not for you. <laughs> These are not for you. Robert Van Gulick was actually um, Dutch uh, and he, but he spent a lot of time in China and Japan um, and he, he learned Mandarin and did calligraphy and oh my goodness was like the Dutch ambassador, I don't know. He lived a, a very interesting life for sure. When he first wrote The Chinese Maze Murders, um, it, it wasn't in English. Like he, he wrote it in Chinese. Um, he had a friend translate it into Japanese. And then later it was published in English, which I find really, really interesting. Um, but he wanted people in China and Japan to realize they had their own history of detective fiction um, in some unusual places. So this is a, what it, Goodreads is going to tell you that this is like the 13th book in the series. But from what I can tell, this is made, this is at least the first book he wrote. It may not be in the series order or whatever I, and I, but I you don't need to worry about that um this is about a real person in the Tang dynasty although the author does say that the customs and clothes are more representative of the Ming dynasty which is interesting but either way this is about this is based on a real Person. And he was a magistrate, he was a judge, and at that time in China, the judges, the judges did all the investigating. There's no like, 
one side and the other side kind of thing. Like they, they did all the work. Like they, they had to solve the crimes and they gave their sentence. Um, and it's wild. Like this book, there are at least three mysteries. You could maybe argue a few more, um, within this book. And and it was a like I did get a little bit confused, like because like one of them, there's like this uh, painting that is like essential to the mystery, but then there's like another character who's an artist, and like some some of his pictures get get used or some of his paintings get used for something else, and so occasionally I I got a little bit confused, but. Um, the, but the other thing, and I don't know if we talked about this in the I'm so annoyed tag. Um, I really appreciated there is a list of characters. Oh my goodness. Because like a lot of people have the same last name. And so it's just, I mean, there's four people with the last name you um <laughs> listed on here and some of the other names are very similar um in the way they're written and I am not going to try to pronounce them because <laughs> it would it, it would that would be bad but um I I I just thought it was so interesting like so when Sophie first told me about about these mysteries she was like oh the Judge D mysteries and I was like judge d like and i was like oh i'll have to you know i think i said something like i'll have to keep my eye out for that but i would never i would never come across this this is even this is even a european copy um of this book i i was just i enjoyed it so much more than i thought it would and it is ex it is very violent um and he really tries to stick to um, Chinese storytelling. And so in Chinese storytelling, apparently like you see things all the way through, all the way to the end. So when the judge makes like some of his decisions, like it's in the book, like, oh, like I have decided I'm going to cut you up into little tiny pieces while you are still alive like oh my god and then later he's like oh we're gonna be merciful we're we're just gonna execute you <laughs> and and I shouldn't be laughing about that because I am um personally opposed to the death penalty um primarily because I don't think it's used uh justly um in America so, so that was a little bit shocking, but I just, I don't know. Like I thought, I thought parts of it were funny. I mean, obviously not the gruesome parts, but like, I thought things like it was just, it was so different from anything I would have ever, ever read. And I'm so glad Sophie that you sent this book to me and, <laughs> and I get to talk about it on booktube. So I really am curious though, if any of you have read any of these, any of these books, um, and what you think of them. Um, yeah, I've just, I just was just so, so kind of sucked into it. <laughs> if ever there is a, a booktube made me do it, like this, this is it. Um, <laughs> so, so like I said, it's not for, it's, it's, if you, if you don't like violence in mysteries, um, then it's not the right book for you. Uh, but it is a really, it's just a really fascinating story. Um, and like I said, like the judge is like solving like multiple crimes at the same time. And yeah. And, and again, there's, there's humor in it too, though. They get robbed right at the very beginning. Um, well, people attempt to rob them and the judge like grabs a spear from one of these people who are like pretending to be highwaymen. Like they're not really like, that's not what they, 
that's that's not their real job and yeah he like steals a spear from them and you know attacks attacks the high women and like goes and makes sure that his wives um, and that is plural his his wives are all okay and his kids are all okay you know so really really interesting book so anyway would love to know if you have heard of these if you've read these it was just wild. It was just wild. So, um, anyway. Okay. So booktube, I know you saw so much of me this week and I, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, I just really wanted to get caught up on some tags. Of course, the booktube journey tag is now out there. So I will probably be doing that in the next week, but otherwise I'm going to be reading, reading, reading. And I found out today that, provided the weather works out, um, the last full week of April I am going to spend with my family, which could mean a reappearance of dun dun dun. item <laughs> so there could also be footage of um two new cats uh so that's exciting <laughs> not not in my house in my parents house but uh anyway so uh yeah I'm I am looking forward to hopefully hopefully um getting to spend some time with my family, which I have not done for a very long time. I'm a very bad, very bad daughter. Um, I would love to know what you are reading. Uh, there are way more events than just People April happening right now. So what are you participating in? What are you reading? What are you enjoying? Um, yeah, what's, what's going on in your world? Um, if, if you, I, I love engaging with you in the comment section. I hope, hope you know that. Um, but if you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, of course you can leave an emoji um, or you can give this video a thumbs up, which I really do appreciate. I do have a new video on my Ko-fi page. I've, I think I've mentioned it once before, but it's my plans for March, 2025. I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but um, if you have time, please check that out. You do not have to make a donation to watch that. So booktube, thank you so much um, for all the love and support that you give me. And um, I just ask you to uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll be back soon with another video.